Did you guys see this? This was the weirdest shit, dude. It was Thanksgiving, my belly was full of happy, and then randomly, the most recent episode of a podcast that I was listening to fucking insulted me. That was so fucking weird. That was so surreal. You guys have no idea how surreal it is. Just be listening to a podcast, just like da da da, and then it's just like, whoa, what podcast? Oh, it was the um, Kill James Bond podcast with Alice Caldwell Kelly, Abigail Thorne, and Devin. I didn't even understand the insult. They were going over like a 1960s spy movie, and they were like, oh, I have a drop that reminds me of Vosh, and it was some guy telling some other guy in the spy society, like, get back to work, you pervert, or something like that. I think the joke was that I was a pervert with women, but I don't really know what that refers to. Maybe it's like an accusation that I'm being a chaser, but that's a roundabout way of doing it. And it seemed kind of non-specific. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know what it refers to. Yeah, pretty weird. Your reputation precedes you. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's a running joke. Have you heard many of the episodes? Well, that was the most recent episode, so I've now watched all of the episodes. So, yes. They're just jelly Tacoma wept so hard, yeah. The thing that's really annoying is that I actually DM'd Abigail Thorne like a week ago to say that I really enjoyed her most recent video. And I wonder if that was like interpreted as chasing too. God, that's so fucking weird. The video on how she had to email the gender clinic doctor person five trillion times. And there was a bit in there that she was talking about like the, the universality of feelings associated with gender dysphoria. That I, I've made that point before, because I'm always right. So I emailed saying like, hey, that, I really appreciate you putting that in. She was like, oh, thank you. But now I, I assume she interpreted that as some kind of roundabout chaser behavior. Which, ew, God. Yeah, I can't believe I talked to another content creator who was a trans woman. Many of your detractors frame you as a chaser too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty weird. You know, I don't know. Must be lonely being based all by yourself. No, that's okay. I have you guys. All you did was send her a dick pic. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm leaving that part out now. What's chaser? Chaser, chaser means um, it's it's like somebody who's weirdly fetishistic towards uh, trans women. No, her content's great, Annie. The main the main problem with uh, Abigail Thorne's philosophy tube content is the fact that well, she was just like British, but now she's posh British. She got more. She transitioned and became more posh, which was already pretty tough because. She already acts like somebody who's like fourth in line to the royal family. But yeah, she, she became far more posh in, in round two. She has to return to being a northerner. Yeah, exactly. Return to tradition. I liked her stuff better before she tried to ape Contra style. Still, she makes good vids. Uh, actually, I disagree. I think there was a time where it felt like her stuff was a bit derivative of Contra, but I think that's done now. I think it was like... There, like right at the beginning of her transition, I assume this has something to do with gender stuff, but I felt like her stuff was more derivative from Contra, but now I don't think that's the case anymore. Now I think it's fully distinct again. Yeah, like you have to find your voice, right? Like it took me a while to sound pretty distinct from Destiny, you know? You, you, we, I, I imagine that, uh, you know, Contra tra tra trans, trans, transifying, you know, whatever. I don't know. It's, it's a thing. I don't know. No, it's good. It's, it's good. Yeah. I, I, I defend her content, you know? Anyway, still very weird. They don't ever talk about other people in the thing, too. It's all about the movies. It's just very strange. I know that um, Alice Caldwell Kelly really doesn't like me because she's had me blocked on Twitter, which is, again, a shame because I really, really, really like her. And, um, well, there's your problem as well. I think she's really fucking funny and smart. Most of the time, people who hate me are also retards, so it doesn't feel as bad to be disliked by them, but unfortunately, I can't, I can't, I can't lean on that in this case. That's not, that's not really an option here. Yeah, well. What's the best criticism you've heard of your character content? None. There can't be any good ones. It's all perfect. No flaws. No, any. I never found out why Aaron in the Morn unblocked. I'm genuinely tempted to DM her, but I'm worried that it might have been a mistake. Aaron posts a lot of pro-trans stuff that I can retweet and, like, use as, as, as like, quick news and stuff. Um, so I, I don't want to, like... You know, I, I know she, like, she gets a DM and she, she checks her DM and she's like, va, va, ooh, you know. Uh, and it fucking insta blocks me. Why bother liking people when they illogically hate you? Because I don't, I don't like them because they like me. It's not transactional. I like uh, Alice Caldwell Kelly because she's brilliant. I think she does a really good job with the stuff she does. The content she produces is excellent. Her opinions on me are unfortunate, but they don't diminish the value of the the the, the products that she makes. You know, uh, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't lessen it. Same with Contra points, right? Contra makes great videos. She, she might be a Dumb bitch when it comes to me, but, you know, so are a lot of people.
your community will pretend people like Contra are now bad because you had a falling out. No, I have always stood against that. No matter how much shit I get in with other people, I have always been quick to say, you know, uh, 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 we may not like each other, but their content is still valuable. I said that about Thought Slime, though that varies. I said that about Contra. I've said that about, um, I've said that about Destiny. I've even said with Destiny, like, yeah, he's a fucking, li well, now I think he mostly does far right adjacent fash ass kissing drama bullshit. But back a year or two ago, I even said, I don't like him, but he's good at debate and you can learn from that. I don't, I don't do the like, oh, just because I don't like them means that you shouldn't like them thing. I, I, I try not to do that. Um, Sean, yeah, Sean as well. Um, uh, Sean is a cunt on Twitter, but um, makes great videos. Can't deny it. Simple as, simple as, simple as, you know, skull man. Yeah. Sean's been rather good on Twitter, IMO. Well, I still think he's a cunt. It's okay to be, well, I mean, it's not okay, but it's not unlikely that a person can be good politically, but interpersonally bad. That's not like a, like a, like a rare thing, you know? Jacob Geller is liked by everyone, though. I don't think he likes me. He doesn't follow me, and I DM'd him, uh, and he didn't respond to it to praise him for a video he made a couple months ago. How are you so confident? What's wrong with you? Why are you letting other people's opinion of you affect your self-perception? This isn't a me thing. There's no rational connection between other people's perceptions of me in this environment and my own self-worth. It's just, it's just it's the basic core of self-esteem. It takes no effort on my part. Yeah, it's also difficult for me to feel that bad about other people disliking me when I know that the general attitude is very negative towards me, you know? Meaning that, like, disliking me for some people, depending on where they are in the social space, might be, like, a norm position that they have to be pulled out of rather than something they have to be actively moved into, you know? But, uh, eh, you know. Plus, I'm still on at least neutral terms, I think, with um, Justin, Rosniak, and Liam Anderson. There it is. I was getting them mixed up. I was thinking Justin Anderson. I was thinking, no, I'm combining their names. Uh, it took me a second to, to separate them. Good podcast. I fused them in my mind because they're both lads. They're both Philadelphia lads. I'm going to the live show. I can't wait. Nice, I'm lost. I'll probably see the Patreon release of the live show afterwards. Cannot show up in person to uh, these environments. Did I ever tell you guys about the time with my... My, my network of connections, okay? I'm like Spectre, I'm like that Bond guy. Um, I know everything. Uh, how I, I knew somebody who attended like a lefty hip, like a podcast party bar thing, you know, just a hip get together with a bunch of people in the left podcast YouTube space. And a bunch of people apparently brought me up apropos of nothing um, in both positive and negative contexts. It really weirds me out how much I get talked about by other people in, 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 in ways and in contexts that I don't know. But like in the public space, you know what I mean? It's, which is so weird. You know, it's, a, it's like I'm a big topic, but I do the same thing. I, like I'm, just, I'm a live streamer. I do the politics stuff. You know, it, it doesn't. It's so strange. Wacky behavior. Now, oh, whatever. It won't matter. We're all going to die soon. Anyway, they'll do the death camps and they'll kill all lefties. So uh, it won't matter. I'm going to be so smug in the death camp. You guys, I'm going to be insufferable. And be like, you guys, mmm, I predicted this. Mmm, that's what I'm going to be like. Don't say shit like that, then say you don't act doomer. It was a joke. Shut up. God.